Hi Virgo, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your November 2017 reading. This may or may not resonate as it's for hundreds and thousands of people. I have pre-shuffled these decks so I'm just going to shuffle them for a moment. This is for the sign of Virgo and it is a general reading. Whatever comes up will come up. November 2017. basis of your reading is the world card that is success okay it is time to celebrate your success in something it means one lesson has been learned and now uh, you can move on to another one all right when the world card comes out in it when it is the basis of the reading I mean the only thing I can say is congratulations <laughs> You have, it's, you're about to start a new chapter, probably this month of November, okay? If you, if this isn't the case, it could be on the horizon, all right? And I think it's a very exciting time for you, Virgo. I think that it's a very abundant, okay? It's just an abundant, exciting time where there's a lot of balance, perhaps. You're feeling balanced. Maybe it's your emotions that are feeling balanced. I believe that you've been through a lot of despair and perhaps that this month is a time of healing and it brings a lot of balance back. There's been some inner conflicts, but I think that you are moving away from them. Your confidence and your courage has really um, overcome any conflict, okay? I see that um, your fears you had some fears that I think you have uh, overcame them as well. I think that you have taken some steps and um, overcame some fears. Um, it's really amazing. It looks like a lot. Many of you have decided it's time to get my life back on track, and this month it is really back on track in the way that you want it to be. Okay. Um, all is well, okay, all is well, I just have to tell you. Um, we have three fours, okay, four, 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 all is well. It feels like you are. You have some help from some angels, okay? It, it really feels like this is a wonderful month of happiness for you. Um, whereas you've been through some strife, you've been through some depression and some sadness, it just looks like this is a complete turnaround where all of a sudden it feels like you have this ambition and this excitement that you have gained, all right? I see a lot of um, balance, okay? It's amazing, it really is. You guys are definitely starting a new chapter. There is no doubt about it. A new chapter ha is beginning and it looks like you know, if it didn't start in October, it is starting this month, okay? It's really happening. And you made it happen, okay? So I, I do see that it's just a very abundant month. Um, and you just, you did it. You did it. It looks fantastic. Um, you have the wheel and the world. This is when I say that something has ended and something new, wonderful is beginning, a new chapter. No kidding. It's your time. It's your time. And the reason, the what you did was overcome your fear. You overcame your fear and now your reward is here. Like I said, congratulations. Um, this right here, this is you seeking guidance. It's like... 
I think many of you, you know, there could be a counselor involved, could be a spiritual counselor, could be, you know, a, a counselor in your town, or it could be your inner guide. You've really started listening, okay? And you're just, you're listening to your desires and your wants and your needs, and you're not going to fake it anymore. It looks like... Um, Many of you were trying to escape, you know, from a situation and, and just pretend, but it looks like you're not doing that, okay? It looks like you're at the finish line and one phase of your life has ended or is about to end and a new one is going to begin and it looks like it's going to be really good when you have the Wheel of Fortune right there. So I want to tell you who we have for players in this reading so far. We have a Pisces. We have a Taurus, we have uh, Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. We have a Gemini, and we have a Sagittarius again. That's who we have so far. I just, it really looks good. It looks like you guys have done some inner work, and you have decided to um, make a move, okay? You've decided to change something, and... I think it's a very exciting change, all right? I do. For many of you, there's a, a commitment in the future, okay? It looks like there's a new commitment in the future for many of you. You've been making a lot of progress, all right? The goosebumps are coming. This is excitement. You have excitement. I'm telling you what. Okay, this is like when um, you've acted on your hunches and now you're about to be rewarded. I see that you guys have overcome something and the reward is here because you've done what you needed to do. And this is you, Virgo. I see that your life is balancing out quite nicely, and this really stems from getting your life back on choice, on track, and about your choices, okay? I think that many of you, 666 is getting your life back on track. We have many sixes in this reading, and it's also about choices. So you guys are make have made some really big choices in regards to getting your life back on track. I think that you guys have taken some time to reevaluate your path and you've thought about where you're going to focus and where you want your life to go. You know, you're looking at the long term future, not the short term. You're trying to take the most practical approach. And I think that many of you are letting something go that has no, that is no longer serving you. Okay. And when you do that, that's when your life gets back on track. All right. Um, many of you are going through a spiritual um, wake-up call, all right? So keep that in mind. I think many of you are like ascending, okay? And, and we all ascend at different levels. So I think I mean, these sixes is also a spiritual wake-up call. It's actually a very spiritual number, sixes are. You have many, many of them in this reading. So I think many of you have really gone within and you've done some soul searching. Like I said, this reading is really about soul searching. And I think you're, you're working on following your own path. That's the Hierophant also says that as well. You know, that you are believing in yourself and you're not following anybody. You're following your own self. You're following your own inner guide. You're following your own path. You're not letting anybody lead the way. You are leading the way in your life. And that's what's going on this month. Because you have taken the reins, you are being rewarded. Amidst fear, you know, there was some fear, but you did it. And now the reward is here. That's what I see. Wow. I think that you guys have really been... Um, seeking balance and harmony i mean there's a lot of balance here and harmony so that's what and this is why that you have decided to change because you're seeking balance and harmony 
which also is getting your life back on track. <laughs> and I'm telling you what, with that world card being the basis of your reading, you've learned something big. Okay? This is the last card in the tarot deck. That means that you you've there's a journey if you're not familiar with the tarot deck. The journey starts with the fool. <laughs> and you have to go through all the cards to get to the world card. So it looks like one journey is ended and a new one is going to begin. You've learned a lot. And it's time to start something new. I think the peace, I think it's going to be a peaceful month. I mean, you. Well, it's not going to be peaceful because you're going to be excited. But you're going to feel at peace. You're going to feel at peace. You're going to feel excitement. You're going to feel vibrant. You're going to feel happy, balanced. Um, you, it just looks really good. I was thinking about this card just about two seconds ago before I started shuffling this deck. Maybe ten seconds. Anyway, so I was thinking about this card because I see many of you are starting in the, at the beginning. You know, now this is the beginning of the journey. One lesson has been learned. One chapter. One long-term chapter. Could be schooling. Could be a relationship. Could be anything. Something that was long-term and had a big impact on your life is over. And now you're about to start at the beginning again. Okay? And I think that at the beginning, you know... There's, there's, you're, you have love in the future. I have to tell you, you do. This is you. And this is the King and Queen of Cups, which is a sign of Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. But this is love, a new welling of emotion. I think that for many of you, there's going to be a new emotional connection with somebody. And I think it could be a water sign, could be another earth sign, could be a fire sign. Okay? Well, okay, so it could be an earth sign, fire sign, or water sign. Um, but anyway, I do see that there is a new um, attraction on the horizon, okay? There is, if not here already. And the, th and the thing is, is um, if it doesn't happen right away, don't, don't despair because it takes time for things to grow. Okay, so if, you, if you're expecting love from something and you're not getting it, realize that it takes time for it to grow all right so slow and steady wins the race just remember that all right i see that you're looking or you're hoping for the your soulmate okay because these this is a couple that's meant to be together and this is you taking a risk okay this is you taking the risk which is that you had to overcome the fear to take the risk okay to do something new in search for that everlasting love, <laughs> okay? So that's what it is. I mean, that's what this is about. So I think your reward is here, okay? I really do. And I do think that it involves love or a deep, deep a love, a deep connection with another person. I do. Um, I'm going to get you one of these cards. Remember to just keep going. Slow and steady wins the race. It will happen. It will. You've made the right decision. If you've made a decision and you've been wondering if it was the right one, the answer is yes. Because a new chapter is about to start. No doubt about it. With the wheel and the world and the fool, there's no doubt in my mind that something new is starting for you. And it does involve love. But you might have to be patient. But I do think you've, many of you have made the right decision, if that's your question. Involves love, peace, harmony, contentment. Um, you're going to feel excited, vibrant, focused. I mean, wonderful. And I think many of you are really growing spiritually. All right? Spiritually. I think a lot of you are focusing on your spiritual journey. Listen.
hopefully the audio is good on this thing. I, I listened to my last one and it was like scrambly. We'll see what happens. My daughter dropped my camera the other day. Anyhow, that's what happens when you have kids. Listen, quiet your mind, beloved one, and listen to our gentle reassurance that everything has been taken care of. Quiet your mind, beloved one, and listen to our gentle reassurance that everything has been taken care of. Stay in a quiet and receptive state without worrying about the exact nature of your desire's manifestation. A quiet mind and body hear, hears us quickly and clearly. This is our request to you. Listen. The angels are trying to talk to you. Listen. Don't be afraid to ask them. And then listen. So Virgo, this is what I have for you for the month of November 2017. It looks really, really good. I think you deserve it. Your reward is in sight.